To set up SEMGREP in CI with GitLab, first log into the SEMGREP app with your GitLab account. Once you're logged in, go to Projects, Scan New Project, Run Scan in CI, and select GitLab CI CD. This will take you to the setup page for GitLab CI. Following these steps, you'll first need to create a SEMGREP app token if you haven't already within your project. To do this, copy the token value and navigate to your GitLab project to Settings, CI CD, and Variables. Add a new variable for the SEMGREP app token. This token is a variable unique to your SEMGREP account that allows SEMGREP and CI to authenticate and send findings back to your app. Make sure that you mask this variable. In this case, I've set it as a project level variable, but you can also set it as an organization level variable and it'll work just fine. Next, take the SEMGREP CI step in the SEMGREP app and copy it over to your project's gitlabci.yaml. You'll notice that it references the token that we just created. By default, we'll do a full scan on your project if changes are made to the gitlabci.yaml, and we'll do a scan on a merge request that is opened in your project, which will be a diffaware scan. You can read more about diffaware scanning here in the docs. Since we edited the GitLab CI file, a pipeline will now start on your project, which will perform a full scan on the repo and send results back to the app. To view the logs from the SEMGREP job that just ran, you can click the Pass button under the Status column here. Then click the SEMGREP step. From here, you can see information about the job that just ran, including the rules that were run and the findings from the scan. Now that we have some findings, we can go back to the SEMGREP app and take a look at what we found. I'll go to the findings page and sort by the project that I just scanned. From here, we can look at our findings, triage them, see the rule that triggered it, and see where exactly it occurred in the code. There will also be a hyperlink at the top that takes you directly to the line of code that the finding was on. To enable PR comments, we'll need a personal GitLab access token and to make a small modification to our gitlabci.yaml. First, let's generate a token with API scopes. You can do this by going to your profile in the upper right and going to access tokens. We can call this anything, but make sure that you give it the API scope. Then create the personal access token. Make sure to copy it before you leave the page. Next, we'll add this token as a CI CD variable for us to use. So let's go back to settings, into CI CD, into variables. We'll add the token content as a variable called PAT. Make sure to mask it and unprotect the variable. Next, let's navigate to our GitLab CI.yaml and make a small change to the file. We'll want to now reference our variable that we just added to the CI settings. We'll call this variable GitLab token and we'll reference the personal access token. This is the token that we'll use to post comments on your merge requests in GitLab. Here's an example of a merge request comment. We'll show you the vulnerability, where it occurred in the code, and a link to the rule. For more info on GitLab merge request comments, you can check out our docs.